Have you ever reached a point in your life when you felt like the weight of the world was on your shoulders and you just needed a ray of hope to pierce through the darkness? Well, I've been there. In one of the most challenging moments of my life, when I was desperately seeking encouragement, God led someone to speak six simple words to me. Those words, seemingly unremarkable at first, opened a door to a profound understanding of why we should never give up. You see, I was told, when in doubt, call on God. Just six words, but oh, the impact they had. Today, I want to delve into the simplicity of this instruction and explore the incredible power that lies in calling on God, especially when life throws its toughest challenges our way. Now, let's start with a foundational truth a timeless promise from the Bible found in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It says, Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Think about that for a moment. The Creator of the universe invites us to call on Him, promising not just answers but revelations beyond our comprehension. Reflect on your life for a second. Are there times when you've called out to God and it felt like your voice was drowned out by the chaos around you? Maybe doubts crept in and patience wore thin as you waited for a response. It happens to the best of us. But here's the thing. God's promise remains steadfast. He's not only willing to answer, but to reveal profound truths that surpass our understanding. Now let's consider Isaiah chapter 45 verse 2, which states, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. This paints a vivid picture of a God who is not just responsive, but proactive. He goes ahead of us, clearing obstacles and making a way where it seems impossible. It's easy to call on God when we're faced with mountains in our lives, isn't it? But what about the misconception that if you're in God's will, you won't face trials? The Bible challenges this in a powerful way. Look at Jesus, who was undoubtedly in the will of God. Yet, he walked straight into the crucible of the cross, enduring a painful and horrific death for our sake. Or consider Job, whom God described as upright and faithful. Yet, he went through hell on earth. So here's the truth. Being in the will of God doesn't exempt us from challenges. But, and this is a big, but these challenges can serve a higher purpose. Your affliction, your trial, can bring glory to God. It may sound counterintuitive, but think about it. Your trouble becomes a canvas on which the Lord can paint a masterpiece of His power and deliverance. Now let's address a common pitfall. How often do we call on everyone and everything else before turning to God? Friends, worldly resources, and a myriad of alternatives may offer temporary relief. But there's a difference when we call on the one who never sleeps nor slumbers, the one who can make a way where there seems to be no way. Consider this encouragement from Psalm chapter 145, verse 18 to 21. The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear Him. He also hears their cry and saves them. Take a moment to let those words sink in. The Lord is near when you call on Him in truth. Your desires, your cries do not fall on deaf ears. 
He not only hears, but saves. And let's not forget the character of our God. He is a healer when you're sick, a comforter in times of pain, and a savior when you need saving. When the weight of the world feels too heavy, when you need a miracle, call on the Lord. He's not just a bystander in your life. He is an active participant, ready to make a way, straightening the crooked paths. Now don't let anyone deceive you into thinking that being in the will of God means a trouble-free life. Even Jesus, the Son of God, faced trials and tribulations. But remember, challenges don't define your journey. They refine it. Your troubles can be the stage where God showcases His power and proves Himself to be a great deliverer. So, what does it mean to call on the Lord? It means acknowledging that even in your afflictions, even in your challenges, God is with you. It's recognizing that your faith is not a shield against troubles, but a weapon to overcome them. Call on Him when you're sick, when you're in pain, when you need a miracle. He's not just a distant deity. He's a loving keeper, eternal and limitless in strength. As for me, I've chosen to forever call on the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus. Yes, call on Him when times are tough, but don't stop there. Call on Him continuously, even when life is good. It's not just about seeking help in moments of desperation. It's about expressing gratitude in moments of peace. Think about it. Jesus responded to the calls of many during His time on earth. Those who were sick, possessed, cast out by society, and blind. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 assures us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The one who responded to those calls then is ready to respond to your call today. Now let's take a moment to reflect on our own lives. When was the last time you called on God not just to ask for something but simply to say, thank you? Gratitude transforms the way we see our blessings. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, reminding us of God's faithfulness. Let's not limit our calls to God to moments of need. Instead, let's adopt a lifestyle of calling on Him in all circumstances. Whether in the storm or under clear skies, let our voices continually rise in praise and thanksgiving. In doing so, we align ourselves with the truth in Psalm chapter 5, verses 1 to 3, where the psalmist declares, Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. God is not just a divine problem solver. He's the author of our story, the orchestrator of our destinies. Our lives find true meaning when they are surrendered to Him. Now, let's take a moment to pray. Join me in calling out to the Almighty, recognizing His presence in our lives and expressing our dependence on Him. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you for being a God who hears our cries and answers our calls. We declare your sovereignty over our lives. Lord Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. We acknowledge your unwavering presence in our lives. In the moments of doubt and uncertainty, we choose to call on your name knowing that you go before us and make our paths straight. As we navigate the challenges of life, help us to remember that being in your will doesn't shield us from trials, but positions us for your glory to be revealed. 
We surrender our afflictions, our trials, and our challenges to you, believing that you can turn them into opportunities to showcase your power. Father, we call on you not only in our moments of need, but also in moments of peace and abundance. Teach us to cultivate a heart of gratitude, recognizing your goodness in every season of our lives. May our calls to you be like sweet melodies, rising to you in praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you every person under the sound of my voice. For those crying out for healing, answer their cries, Lord. For those seeking love and comfort, may they find wholeness in your presence. Your word assures us that you are near to all who call on you in truth. Fulfill the desires of those who fear you, Lord. Now, Lord, we pray for your presence to surround our families. Touch our lives, quicken our spirits, and bring revival to our hearts and homes. In these times of uncertainty, may your peace fill our hearts. We call on you, Lord, for there is none like you, the rock of ages, the chief cornerstone, our great high priest, the Holy One, and the everlasting Father. We acknowledge that you alone are God. Yours is the power, the glory, and the honor. Thank you, Father, for being faithful to equip us with all that we need. Your wisdom is unparalleled your power unmatched. You provide more than we need, whether it's healing, restoration, protection, or peace. Guide us by your Spirit. Open our eyes to see through the eyes of faith. May our calls to you be a constant declaration of trust and reliance on your goodness. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.